Welcome! In this video I will show you how to easily, with a bit of patience, calibrate Hall Effect sticks on an Xbox One controller. Since, as far as I know, there is no software to calibrate the Xbox One sticks, we will have to do that manually. The process might be frustrating and you'll need to be careful, but if you follow the steps in the video, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll need a couple of tools, something flat like these tweezers, a long, pointy, thin-tipped tool will use this one to calibrate the sticks manually. A Torx T9H bit and a Torx T6H bit. Some sort of prying tool, preferably plastic. Let's start with the plastic on the grips. You'll need to use your prying tool to get under the plastic and undo the clips. When you're done, you'll need to pull the plastic apart gently but with force. This part can feel like you're going to break the whole controller, but you won't if you've unclipped the clips. With them off, we need to open up the battery compartment and get a flat tool under the sticker to get it loose. Pull off roughly half of the sticker and you will find a hidden screw. The screws on the outside are all T9H, while the screws inside are T6H. Now you can take off both the front and rear shell. There are cables for the motors on the sides of the controller. If you don't want to desolder these wires, I'll show you how you can still calibrate the controller. Just be extremely gentle. But first, we need to remove this tape to be able to remove the connector underneath it. It's time to unscrew the internal screws. Don't forget to change to the Torx T6H. We will start by unscrewing the two screws on the board that has the sticks. To make it easier for ourselves in the future, we'll remove the top plastic. We don't have to remove the bumper plastic, but if we do, it's no big deal. Let's remove the thumb caps next.
Now we can pull off the bottom board, but be careful, you don't want to rip the cables. We do this so we can get access to the remaining screws. Here are the remaining screws we need to remove. There is also a screw under the yellow tape that I always forget. We can now take out the main board. Put the bottom board in a position like so. Both boards have a connector that we now need to reconnect. The hall effect sticks have two holes in the plastic. These holes are what we need to use to calibrate the sticks. Connect your controller to your PC and go to Gamepad Tester in your browser. As we can see, without touching the sticks, it's pulling on both axes. We need to calibrate this to the center. To calibrate these sticks, it can be quite tricky. First, put your thin tip into one of the holes. Next, pull the sticks to one direction. Remove the thin tip and then let go of the sticks. Check your results and repeat until satisfied. Change the directions if necessary and use the holes you're most comfortable with. There is a lot of trial and error, but eventually you'll get it right. Here's a speeded up version of my process so you can see it took me quite a while to get near perfect center. It's time to put the controller back together. You can safely unplug it from your PC. Separate the two boards.
If some of the buttons fell out during the process, now it's a good time to put them back together. Also make sure all buttons are sitting correctly, or else the controller won't close properly. When satisfied, put back the button membrane. Put the main board in place and screw it in with the screws. Reconnect both of the boards to each other. Add the top plastics back on top. Don't forget to reconnect the antenna. Put the thumb caps on. Put both shells on, be sure to align the battery terminals with the back shell so that you don't damage them, then screw it all back together. And that's it! You should now have perfectly calibrated Hall Effect sticks on your Xbox One controller. Check the description if you're interested in getting these Hall Effect sticks or any other of the tools I'm using on a regular basis. A special shout out also to my two patrons, Rossi Ross Repairs and I Squish Worms. You guys make the channel tug along. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon, the link is in the description as well. Um, be sure to check out uh, one of my live streams as well. People say it's quite fun. Um, with that said, thank you for watching, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.